Welcome back viewers. This news delves into the details of Bishnoi's confessions and the implications of his claims, exposing a world of corruption, power and criminality. According to investigators, incarcerated gangster Lawrence Bishnoi has revealed that politicians and businessmen pay him a fee in exchange for threatening phone calls. This allows them to request security protection from the police. Bishnoi, who was under the custody of the National Investigation Agency in April, was being questioned regarding funding for Khalistani groups. He is a key suspect in the Siddhu Musawala murder case and is currently imprisoned in Bhatinda. The agency has reportedly informed the Ministry of Home Affairs about the information obtained during Bishnoi's interrogation. A source stated, he informed investigators that he extorted 2.5 crore rupees monthly from liquor dealers, call center owners, drug suppliers and real estate businessmen. He claimed that nowadays numerous politicians and businessmen pay him money to make threatening extortion calls, enabling them to obtain security cover from the relevant state police. Bishnoi also disclosed to the NIA his involvement in a business model that includes collaborations with imprisoned gangsters from Uttar Pradesh, Dhananjaya Singh, Haryana Kala Jatheri, Rajasthan Rohit Godara, and Delhi Rohit Moi and Hashim Baba. In this alliance-based business model, they secured tall security contracts and shared the proceeds. Additionally, if they wish to eliminate their rivals, they provide each other with shooters and weapons, stated the official. According to sources, Bishnoi asserted during his interrogation that he had targeted Bollywood actor Salman Khan in connection with the 1998 black buck hunting case, which is considered sacred by the Bishnoi community. He purportedly stated that he would only forgive Khan if he were to apologize. The source further mentioned during questioning Bishnoi claimed that he opposes the pro Khalistan ideology and his primary intention is to operate his criminal syndicate by forming alliances with other criminals. In addition, Bishnoi informed the NIA that he holds strong opposition to the D Company and its leaders, Daud Ibrahim. The official stated he claimed to have close ties with certain incarcerated gangsters who are actively working against Daud, and in the forthcoming months, he himself intends to engage in activities against Daud Ibrahim. Regarding Bishnoi's alliance with Satinder Singh, also known as Goldie Barar, the official shared the following information. During the interrogation, Bishnoi revealed that he first met Barar at Punjab University's campus in 2010. Barar was enrolled in the evening session pursuing his BA degree and actively participated in Kabaddi. At that time, Bishnoi was involved in athletics and their paths frequently crossed on the playground. Over the course of several months, their friendship grew stronger. Brar's father, a police officer, sent him to Canada for further studies, following an altercation with certain individuals. According to Bishnoi, Brar is currently engaged in the transport business, managing a fleet of 70 trucks. In conclusion, Lawrence Bishnoi's revelations expose a disturbing web of connection between politicians, businessmen and criminal elements. The practice of paying for threat calls for police security raises serious concerns about the integrity of the system. These disclosures highlight the urgent need for thorough investigations and measures to dismantle criminal network. It is crucial to address systematic vulnerabilities and strengthen governance to ensure a safer and more just society. And that's all folks, that was the bulletin in brief for you. Stay informed, stay connected.